Amazing audience, we are live with Andrea Sanderson. Most importantly, remember the vocab. Hey. What's up? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Tell me, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at a specific time in history? I will go with poetry. Let's go with that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> tell me more, please. Well, I've been a spoken word poet since around 2001. I started going to since I was a child, around the age of six. And I started in the open mic scene, and I transitioned into slam poetry from 04 to 08. And then I, since then, I just host events and curate events and um, kind of provide platforms for other poets and mentor and do creative workshops for writing and things of that nature in the community. Wow, so who did you learn that from, that skill of being able to capture emotions on paper? Uh, I'd say one of the most influential people in my life with that would be an art teacher from middle school named Linda Bowling. Um, the reason why I got into poetry a lot is because a friend of mine was murdered when I was around 13. She was a very good friend of mine and we had a mutual um, art teacher and I wanted to write something for her memorial service that they were having at the school and she had done this, she had taken this angel and she had done this calligraphy piece and put it in a really pretty frame and so I was like I'm gonna do write a poem to go along with the the angel that you're presenting to her family and it's really cool because her brother now owns a drum shop he's like really known his name's Jeff Ryder he has a, a drum shop so all musicians kind of go over there and stuff mm. like that so he's built a name in in the city but this teacher taught me how to just kind of sit and in a way meditate and take the emotion and do some deep breathing and think about how I feel and then you know turn mm. that into words Wow! and yeah. who taught you how to turn the words into a presentation I guess I just, I learned that from growing up in church, uh, I think. Uh, the church that I went to for San Antonio is almost kind of like a, a little mega church here. And I was in every auxiliary there was. I was on the usher board, I was in the choir, I was in dance, I was in drama. I did all of that. And I think just having to get up, you know, in a black church, you gotta be ready for everything. Cause when the spirit moves, you move, you know? Mm. So it's just kind of like when, when feeling stirred and moved, going into a space, uh, observing, and then absorbing the energy of that moment and then kind of speaking to it and, and putting it out there. It is an art form in itself, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Why would you continue to repeat that skill? Oh my, they're the ups and the downs of the creative and the creator, right? Right. Why will you continue? Uh, because I think that's what uh, is, okay, so I, I practice Christianity, right? And I feel like that's what God said to, in the garden, he was like, be fruitful and multiply. And I don't think that stops at having children. I think being fruitful and mul multiplying is whatever talent you were given, you need to take that and multiply it. Um, I mean, and there's a parable where Jesus is walking and he goes up on a tree and it didn't bear any fruit, so he cursed it and we're here to bear fruit. So whatever gift that we have inside of us, we gotta take it and multiply it and then encourage other people to multiply their gifts. That's well. so where can I get more of your work? Where can I find out more about what you do? Ah, uh, well, I've got stuff on iTunes. So I have an album called Session in Flight. Uh, I have a single that I released in December. It's music because I sing and I do poetry and I rap. So um, there's some stuff online. Uh, Give YouTube. me a taste, please. Let, let's see if it's worth clicking. Okay. Um, Whew, okay, on the spot. Let me think of this. All right, um, what poem do I want to just go with jazz poem? No, no, this, let's do this one. Let's do the love poem. I am that opal colored onyx stone, black bone soul Jones in the midnight dreary. My soul is a weary kind of blues, and you know me for my ebony hues. Negra, assume like. Solomon, the wisest king, with the pigment from the descendant of a chocolate crescent beam. I am the depth of Africa's dream. Do you see me gleam? Shining a fluid monsoon. Nigra, soon. Let's stop there. There. I do poetry. <laughs> I'm sorry, it took me a minute. I was like, what poem to do? Ah, ah. <laughs> a little rusty. <laughs> Thank you. So I go to iTunes. I type in Andrea. I type in vocab. Either one. 
You should. I'll find you. Andrea Sanderson. Yeah, I don't have a lot of content there. I'm more of a live show person. So, I mean, if you Google me, there's a lot of stuff, like whether it be SoundCloud or YouTube videos and stuff like that. I put out a couple of projects, but I'm also in bands. Mm -hmm. So I was in a band called Blend Phonetics. We did an album together. Um, I have a mixtape that I sell myself where I could send you tracks, but there's stuff floating around. Um, I'm going to put out some more content this year. I'm always in a band, I so it's kind that. of like always making albums. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Love yeah. it. Tell me one other thing you've done consistently over the last three years, please. Teaching. Um, it's been coming out a lot more uh, in, in my life. I work for this nonprofit called Gemini Inc. and they send me into the community. We're called Writers in the Community or WIC, which people have a completely different idea of what WIC <laughs> is, right? <laughs> Women, infant, and children? No. <laughs> Writers in community. So I go into the community and I teach workshops about creative writing and I just kind of structure my curriculum around whatever project we're trying to do there. Um, so I think that's something that I do consistently and I like to collaborate with people. Mm -hmm. So I make friends and, and when I'm making friends, we think about ideas of how we can merge what I do with what they do. And so lately I've been working with this flamenco artist named Tamara and a part of her flamenco company, I come in and I do poetry and she dances. Mm. And so it's been really, really cool. A great idea. How does it make you feel when you're doing that? Oh man, it makes me feel connected. Um, because... Here in America, unfortunately, we're kind of islands into our own selves. We, we kind of submerge ourselves in our American culture and, you know, and connecting to flamenco, since there's so many roots in Africa and India and Gypsy and just like so many different, you know, things like overlapping there. I really love that and trying to find ways to be creative about seeing how what I do is a part of that, you know, this narrative and opening that up, that conversation up. Why would you suggest that people that are listening broaden their spectrum from the same perspective you've done? How, how can they do that? Why would you suggest Why that? Why would they do that? Because we seem to think that we are out here on our own and we're really not. Mm -hmm. And there is somebody clear across the world that you can identify with if you take the time to open up and discuss things with them or view the world through their lens because that's the beauty of art it's like this whoever the artist is they're handing you their lens for a moment for you to view the world but mm -hmm. you still have had your series of life experiences to lend itself to the interpretation of mm -hmm. what you're seeing that's wonderful so. saying that let's switch gears for a moment let me now invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful warm blue caribbean water yeah what is your earliest childhood memory Oh man, it's probably, I think probably playing with my little sister in a house on some barracks because my dad is military, um, disabled vet and like falling off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm really, laughs> probably I'm something really like that. Um, probably like two or three, um, just that ha that house. I vaguely remember that house is very foggy, but I remember playing on the bed and falling off. What do you think that <laughs> memory is here for? Ah, because probably there was some pain in there. <laughs> <laughs> How can you connect that memory to who you are today, though? Um, life is full of ups and downs, man. Um, and it's like stay humble because uh, you could be having a great moment and then something bitter and, and painful can come along. Um, and, and try to knock you down. Mm, I love it. I have nothing to add. It's great. She's the poet after all, right? All right. If we fast forward to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? 12? Oh, God. Um, I have the slightest idea. Come on. <laughs> no, seriously. It's hard for me to, like, capsulate in there. I was like, that's so about 90, 1992. Right. Um, I, 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 wow, I don't even know. Blank, all right, you're good. You draw yeah, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's but that's okay. a great question. It's okay, though. It's, it's a super good, good question. It's okay. It's, it's okay. All right, so here we go then. All right, we've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine, there's a small decoration form. Yes or no? Ready for this? Okay, let's try <laughs> it. Like, sure. Oh, oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> have, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? I do it a lot. Um, I work with a lot of young people. First of all, I work at Juvenile Detention Center, which is a prison for children. <laughs> so there's a lot of, I, I interact with a lot of, of teenagers in, in my life. Um, 
I would say someone that I am very proud that I had the chance to spend some time with is a young lady named Ariana Brown, who is now an adult and now you can watch her YouTube videos and she has thousands of views mm. and follows and she has her her degree and she's traveling the country doing poetry. That's and I was good. Well grateful done. that I got to talk to well her. Well done. Are you married? No. Do you have Single. children? No. Do you believe in God? Yes. Do you have an inner circle of friends? I do. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. How about three hours a week? No. What about screen time, the phone and or the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? I spend a lot of time with the phone in my hand and yeah. looking at a computer. I do. If you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents Andrea Vocab Sanderson, what would you say that is? The circle of life is a manifestation of the infinite. It's a quote that I read when I was younger and I've always loved it. Could you say it one more time for me, please? The, the circle, circle of life is a manifestation of the infinite. The infinite. Love it. Andre, this is a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Um, you are loved. I love it. My friend, thank you for being on what is inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Yay. Angel Jones. Mm -hmm. Boom, mm -hmm. did you have fun? I did. <laughs> It wasn't as painful as I thought. I'm sorry about not knowing that twelve that song at age twelve. So sorry. You're good. You were ninety two? Around ninety two, ninety three. Oh I have no idea. Well, I was right. So the brother was uh um, yeah. So I would have been ten years old, so that was in the oh. Got it? Cut it. <laughs> Come try. Why? It might be because you put the headphones on. Oh, it oh, could really? be the. Uh, a little power mode is in. <laughs>